guys, I'm Abby. And I'm Sean with RecPro.com. Thanks so much for joining us today for this installment of our video blogs, Going Up and Down Mountains. Ooh. Now recently I was in the Great Smoky Mountains in mm -hmm. Tennessee in the uh, United States of America. It was, a, uh, it was a vacation that we took. And one of the things that uh, we noticed, my wife and I, as we were traveling through the Great Smoky Mountains, there were a lot of RVs on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, we stopped to help a few of these folks and we found out that the problems that they were having is they were new to you know living the RV lifestyle mm -hmm. and they just didn't know how to get their rigs or their fifth wheels up and down the mountains safely. They were overheating their motors, overheating their brakes, all kinds of stuff. So we've come with some uh, tips to help you get up and down steep grades so when you're in your RV you can travel safely. Now one of the first ones we have is you want to downshift whether you're going up a grade or down a grade. You always want to be traveling slow and one of the easiest ways to do it is to get into a much lower gear than what you're at. Yeah, you'll be going slower, but you'll get places safely and you won't blow out your motor or ruin your brakes. Number two on the list is to make sure all loose items are tied down and secured safely because you don't want to get clobbered. That would suck. But can you imagine like you're driving down no. a grade like this and all of a sudden like all your chairs are <laughs> just like wop, wop, wop. That would be horrible. It would be horrible. Especially if it was your Rec Pro furniture because you don't want to ruin that. No. Mm -hmm. Number three is make sure that your trailers or tow behinds or toads are secure. Now you want to make sure that your tow behind is connected properly to your hitch. So make sure that the cup is set securely over the ball, you're locked in place and you've got your hitch pin through the connecting hole. You always want to check and make sure that this is secure and we always tell you to check three times. Yes, three times and every time you stop, make sure you check again because if it gets jostled around, it can bounce out. You always want to make sure because the last thing you want is to look in your rear mirror and see your fifth wheel bouncing back down the mountain <sighs> or going way ahead of you. And it's you saying, know. help me. <laughs> I thought you loved me. Number four on the list is break in 15 to 20 second intervals. Start slow, stay slow, and don't overwork your brakes. Mm -hmm. Give them a break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number five on the list is a simple but important one. Always have your hazard lights on. Doesn't matter if you're going up the mountain, down the mountain. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. Make sure they're on because you want people to be able to see you. Number six on the list is drive within your power band. Now we don't mean Metallica from the 1980s. What your power band is, is the optimal rating of your RPMs inside of your engine while you're either going up or down the mountain. This way, if you stay within your power band, you won't overheat your engine, but you'll get the maximum output from your engine while you're driving. Now you can either consult your manufacturer about this or just go out and do test driving with your RV or with your fifth wheel and see where that sweet spot's at. Number seven on the list is turn on your sway control. We offer the Tucson sway control here at Rec Pro. The pressures on your RV will be greater going up or down a mountain and the sway control can make all the difference. Yeah, it's a big deal. Keeps you from swaying. We just want you to be safe out there. Mm -hmm, we really do. And enjoy your vacation. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions, maybe comment below and let us know. We like those too. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up, we love those. Mm -hmm. Give us some of those. Uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Subscribe! Down there, down there. I forget where it's at it's, now. It's somewhere. And make sure when you're rolling down the road that you're rolling with Rec Pro.